this is the headstock of my Hudsonia Telecaster, or the Hudsonia T, is what I'll call it. It has a solid rosewood neck. That is, the fingerboard and the neck shaft both are rosewood. Locking gateau tuners that are staggered. Rosewood neck. There's my Hudsonia plate on an ash body. This is not one of my uh, cut up and contoured bodies. The only contour I put on this one was the forearm contour. Uh, the one that I'm building currently is going to have it's going to have a lot more cuts on it. But we'll talk about that later. But anyway, this one is my standard Hudsonia Tele. This is the guitar that I have recorded with. Uh, my last uh, three CDs uh, were done with this guitar, and I love it. It uh, has the Merle Haggard pick guard. Uh, by the way, stainless steel frets by yours truly. And <clears throat> Dominger pickups. Again, I want to emphasize the Dominger pickups are the best. Man, I'm telling you, I've <laughs> I've heard a lot of pickups over the last uh, 12 years, and uh, I've seen a lot of guitars. I've heard a lot of Telecasters. I've heard some great pickups, and I've heard pickups from every year of Tele from the, in a 1950. And there was actually a 1950 broadcaster in here one time. I have never heard Tele pickups that sounded this good. So um, we're going to plug it in in a little while here. I'll show you what I've got here for a bridge. Just a regular a Wilkinson Ashtray Tele bridge with the brass saddles. I, I think it's important to have brass saddles with a Tele because of the bridge pickup and it being, uh, it, it has a way of warming it up a little bit more that it's being on a, it's mounted to a metal plate. Uh, if you have steel saddles, stainless steel saddles or something on a Telecaster, it's a little, little overly bright. This this is why I think the Leo had it correct to begin with, with the uh, brass saddles. These saddles are not, however, those round barrel saddles like you have on the 50s tellies. These are each compensated saddles. And that's very important because it, it really, since each, uh, you got you got three courses here and six strings. So two strings share the same saddle, you're going to have to intonate them differently. And having these angled points that intonate each string really compensates them well and helps you get the instant, uh, the intonation right. All right, so let's pop the hood and take a look. I've got a four-way switch, and that's why you see that the wiring, if you're familiar with Telecaster wiring, this wiring looks a little different and a treble bleed circuit with a quarter watt resistor and a 0 .001 uh, capacitor and I have two CTS pots actually these are Emerson pots Emerson's and I have a this you, you can't read the value of that capacitor that for the tone because I've got the value side turned inside toward the uh, pot but I'm going to show you what it is. It is a it is a sprog, and it's an oil capacitor. It's a .0047, as opposed to a and not to be confused with a .047. See that? This is what you would normally, if you want to put a good oil cap in a Strat and you wanted it to have the same value as the cap that a Strat comes with or a Telecaster, it would be a .047. Leo used a very strong capacitor, I think, from the beginning as a .047, probably because he was concerned about the lap steel. But um, the .0047 capacitor. This is the this is the capacitor by the way that is on the Eldred mod. If you go to the Emerson 
uh, website, you'll see an Eldred mod for uh, an Esquire. And uh, you, will, you will see this, this capacitor in their Eldred mod kit, but it'll be covered up with shrink wrap. So <laughs> you won't be able to see the value or see who makes it. But anyway, that's, that's the cap. And these things, I, I put these now in all my custom guitars. They're just great oil caps, and, and we'll demonstrate some more on that. So that's what I've got, and uh, it's wired up and ready, all fully shielded up inside. So let's put this control plate on and tune her up and turn on the amp. So the first thing we're going to go for is the bridge pickup. And that's the first thing you go for in a Telecaster. <laughs> pickups in parallel. Love these Dominator pickups, by the way. Just beautiful sound. I had a man over here to uh, play all of my guitars um, probably about three weeks ago. Professional player by the name of Jack Graham. Uh, he's in Panama City. He played this tele. He's, this guy's been playing for a long time. I mean, playing gigs for, for decades. And he's played a lot of guitars. He's a great player very established. And um, he played this telly, and he said it was uh, unsolicited. He just said to me, he said this about three or four times to me here in the shop. He said, that is the best sounding telly I've ever heard. That is the best sounding telly I've ever heard. Well, it's a regular old telly with an ash body. The body's from Stumac, Stuart McDonald's. The neck was from, I think I got this from Stratosphere. Uh, it's on eBay. This is all rosewood. Of course, what I did was I rounded up the fingerboard edges because these come with nickel frets and very sharp edges. So I pulled those nickel frets out and I rounded up really nicely. I mean, this thing is like a baseball bat, man. And of course, I put a bone nut in, a roller saddle, a uh, roller tree, rather. It, it sounds good, man. That's the middle position. pickup then you move it in the middle and you've got normal uh, two pickup telly which is both pickups in parallel and then in the third position you've got the neck but with this switch we have a fourth position which is both pickups in series 
which puts them into a giant humbucker. I'm going to put the pickups now in the parallel. This is normal two pickup telly. <laughs> pickups in series. series and quiet I mean this these pickups are really quiet really nice the Dominger pickups man uh, they're the ticket they're the ticket and I mean for the price you can't beat them um, patronize Dominger pickups turn the tone all the way down Put it in the bridge pickup position, turn the tune all the way down. Sonia Telecaster, powered by Dominger Pickups. The next telly I'm going to build is going to be a two pickup also, but it's going to be two Dominger P90s. And uh, we're going to be making a video on that. It's in the process. It's in the making right now. And I'll get back with you on it. Thanks again for watching the Truth Guitar Channel. Have a great day.